Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky, and I'm going to be showing you uh, a bit of the new Ascension dungeon that came out today. Um, you can get to this dungeon northeast of Mobilizing Armies, and uh, inside there's a whole bunch of monsters. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to enter the dungeon on the map. If you teleport to Mobilizing Armies, the dungeon is just a bit to the northeast. This is it right here, uh, by the Ooglog place, and by the Hunter area where you catch the Red Chinchapas. So inside, there's uh, four different types of monster. There's the Gladius. Uh, what these will do is they will stun you, and they will jump around, and they're really annoying. Um, there's the Rorius. Not sure how to pronounce it. But if you attack one of them, uh, all of them will attack you, and they can do pretty high damage when they're in numbers. So, um, yeah, but they are by far the easiest to kill, but also the lowest level. There's the uh, Skatarius. These guys have shields, and if you attack them, they put up their shields, and basically you can't hit them. Um, very efficiently at all. You do very low damage to them. So um, I'm sure there's a way to kill them. I have not been able to figure it out yet. And then there's these, the Capsarius, which are the healers. And uh, as I can understand so far, they have the best drops. Um, what you can get from killing these monsters is you get uh, every single time you get ascension, ascension shards and ascension fragments, which can use to be made can use to be uh, to make the new ascension bolts and arrows and you um, you can get these order journal pages which uh, just fill up this book the history of the order uh, which you get for coming in the dungeon and um, this is just lore pretty much I imagine it's probably a trim completion escape requirement to fill that up but that's not confirmed um, anyway I was just killing these gladiuses because they're not too hard to kill I'll kill one right now just to show you guys what they're like they do jump around a bit and they are kind of annoying but um if you kill the low level ones they all pile you at once and my armor wasn't the greatest and I didn't bring any food so um, yeah I couldn't survive killing the low level ones because they just do too much damage to kill them without any food uh, unless there is a special tactic but their dro the regular drops are not great but you do these get these ascension shards and ascension fragments um, the ascension shards you can craft them immediately into bolts and the ascension fragments you have to use uh, bronze arrows or bronze bolts to make them um, and I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second, but the main drop here is the uh, Ascension Keys, and what these are for is for unlocking the boss rooms. There's three different boss rooms. Um, one of them is right over here. I actually went in there and got one hit by the boss. I literally opened the door. It said, loading, please wait. There's a black screen, and then I got uh, the sign, you, you, you died, you know, pick the stuff out for your grave. I didn't even see the boss. I just said, loading, and I was dead. So... Um, yeah, I didn't decide to mess around with the boss. I have been a bit laggy here. Uh, I wasn't a much more populated world, and I hopped to a less populated one. So, um, but what these keys, uh, I have been selling them. I've sold three so far, and I lost one by dying. Um, but the three that I did sell uh, so far, they sold for about 1.1 mil. Um, I'll sell this one right here, and it's not a very uncommon drop. Um, in about one hour, I got, uh, yeah, four keys. In about one hour, I did get four keys, so that's pretty good money. So you can just sell these things uh, for a pretty nice profit, to be honest. Um, yeah, this one sold for 1.6 mil, so the Ascension Key Primus, perhaps that's the best one. And if we look at my GE history here, um, I've, I sold two of the Ascension Keystones here and got 2.3 mil for it. I sold this one for 1.1, and I sold this one for 1.6 mil. So, um, yeah, I got these four in an hour, and I also got the one that I died in a lot. Well, I died at the boss, and when you, every time you go in to fight the boss, it uses up a key. Um, so I'm sure there will be a tactic, and as soon as uh, the tactic of how to kill the bosses is figured out, I might go in there and try one. But at the moment, you can kill these monsters and just get these keys, which sell for one mil plus each. So that might be a really good way to make money. And also, um, I'm going to try to sell these bolts and see how well these sell. So yeah, these bolts, you just you can craft them from the ascension shards, and they give really good XP, 200 XP for just 10 of the bolts. So that's really good. And then the ascension fragments, you have to use bronze bolts on them. And I imagine they're not as good, um, but I will make some of those and try to sell them as well. So I made the bolts and I made some arrows. Uh, bronze arrow or bronze bolts did not sell in the GE, unfortunately. But I'll try to get my hands on them and see um, what's better. So we're gonna sell these and uh, see how much they sell for. So um, yeah, they sell for about mid GE price. So I got 100k for the arrows, or I mean the bolts. And um, apparently the fragment arrows cannot be sold on the Grand Exchange. 
But if you pick up the Ascension Fragments, you can use them on uh, Bronze Arrows, and they'll do extra damage against the Ascended creatures. But if you have a Royal Crossbow and Royal Bolts, I would recommend just doing that, because that's better. Um, but anyway, yeah, as soon as uh, someone figures out how to kill the bosses, um, I will try those out. At the moment, I don't know if that's a good idea, just because I got literally one hit um, by the boss. But, yeah... So I made a little bit of money off those keystones, so if you're watching this video just after it got uploaded, um, if I were you, go into the Ascension Dungeon, kill monsters, try to get those keystones and sell them. I imagine within a day or two they're not going to be worth that much because a lot of people will find out about the keystones and be selling them. But anyway, uh, this is pretty good money. I made about, well, nearly 5 mil. I would have made over 5 mil if I hadn't have died, but I made just about 5 mil in uh, one hour's time, so that's not bad money at all. Uh, thanks for watching, and farewell.